What's up, YouTube? Hudson Fan 15 back on another mail day, and my premiere in glasses. 30 years old, first time I'm getting them. Uh, I've had them about a, uh, nine days now, and so I'm starting to kind of get used to things, uh, being able to see definition again. Um, I didn't realize how bad my eyes were until I started wearing them. Um, I started getting blurry intermittently, especially when I'd try to read uh, computer screens and um, unfortunately with the dartboard. Um, so that's kind of where I've been between it affecting work and then uh, my dart playing that I decided it was time to, uh, once the insurance kicked in, to get it checked out and lo and behold astigmatism in both eyes. So. Uh, hopefully this will improve things on both fronts. I have had far less headaches, uh, so that's uh, clearly uh, been affecting me for a while because uh, that, was, that was a byproduct. So, on to acquisitions. All right. So, let's see. Oh, I managed to screw this up to fairly well. I knew I was going to do that. All right. So, uh, first things first. First ever dart trophy. We finished uh, first place for the regular season. Uh, we had our banquet uh, this past Sunday. Uh, I lost in the semifinals to the eventual champion of the tournament. Uh, gave him a good run for his money. So, uh, nothing to be ashamed of there. He's a very good player. He wins every other year, it seems like. So, um, I'm gonna f uh, when I do the whole shelf project in this room, which uh, it's get, it keeps getting kicked down the road because uh, other things keep breaking around the house. Um, I'm going to get a shelf up uh, somewhere near the dartboard so that I can house that and hopefully other future uh, trophies and plaques and whatnot. Um, l what little money I had been able to save up from you know paying getting caught up a little bit uh, after I got my first paycheck from uh, the new job went to a new water heater because our sprung leak. So, yay, home ownership. Um, so there's that. Moving on. Um, Y'all know I've been talking about this band for a little while. Uh, this is the Bad Rabbits Dusted Acoustic 5-Track EP. Um, it's $5 whether you get the CD or not, so why not? And if you buy the CD, you get the digital download anyway. So, uh, I recommend people check this out online and uh, support an unsigned band that is going places. They're uh, wrapping up yet uh, another stint on Warp Tour right now. Uh, moving on to some cards. Um, for the MMA PC, uh, two color, multiple break, 22 out of 99 Uriah Faber premium pieces. You remember uh, the last mail day, I got uh, a lot with uh, one of these with uh, not really the most premium of pieces, and then the variation with the auto. So saw so somebody had this up for sale, got that on the cheap. Uh, first uh, patch pickup for the uh, new Colts skill position player, Dante Moncrief. It's a two-color prestige rookie class patch. So he seems to be their featured guy in this year's sets. Um, better than collecting an O-lineman or a D-lineman. So there we go. Um, and on to some Huddy pickups. We've got uh, out of 35, the 2013 Bowman Chrome Pink Refractor. Got uh, 2014 Bowman Black Parallel, 22-25. Seller took a very reasonable best offer for that. And I was shocked to get this for the price that uh, it ended at. Uh, I believe it may have been some type of overseas. So that may have had something to do with it. It seems like there is still some distrust in people buying on eBay from overseas sellers, even though it's PayPal, so you can always just go after them. But um, this card is in unbelievable shape and has actually led me to the thought process of uh, finding uh, a point to where I may want to uh, look through some of my 
collection and see if I can get stuff graded, and this might be one of the cards. 2014 Purple Ice 3 of 10, Tim Hudson, who was uh, elected as an all-star alternate, did not get to pitch in the game. And uh, Clint, he lost to your boy yesterday, uh, Cole Hamels. Uh, Huddy's two, the two runs that were given up were unearned. So uh, Huddy doesn't get knocked on the ERA, but he takes a loss because they couldn't get at Hamels. And uh, finally, well, not finally, um, this eBay seller, I wasn't going to you know, do any of the sort of plugs or whatever, but uh, I am now. Uh, Mavro Cards and Memorabilia. Uh, Mark, it's uh, Mavro on Twitter. So I was the high bidder on this card, which is the uh, 2010 Topps Chrome uh, Magenta Printing Plate for a putty. So nice shipping, padded mailer, magnetic. And then in with it was a uh, free autograph. It's uh, card number 182 from 2010 Topps Chrome, uh, Chris Heisey on card autograph. So that is a Cincinnati Red, and that will be earmarked for you, Matt. So expect that in a future package. So uh, good job by this guy. I don't know if it's one of those get a certain dollar value, you know, buy, you know and you get something for free, or what the deal was, but uh, well done by that gentleman. Uh, and this guy I was planning on uh, promoting. Uh, did an excellent job with our transaction. Uh, I've kept it sealed. Uh, thanks for your purchase at Mike's Collection and Finds. Username met for lif I guess that's life. So I wanted to keep this sealed. We'll see this together. Uh, as you, some of you all know, um, I've got a lot of uh, sets over the years that I've, I'm a fan of. Uh, with Huddy in it, uh, one of the all-time greats, and the, re the reason why I brought uh, Hobby Box to open to the New York trip uh, some years ago is the 2008 uh, Upper Deck Heroes, and this is this is why um, cards like this coming out uh, that and no redemptions. Uh, this is a, from that set. This is a light blue patch, 12 of 25. And would you look at that. This set is just redonkulous. So there we are. Um, if you look at my bucket, I've got a lot of these. Um, I don't think I have the 15 of 25, though. So... Um, but most of that, it seems like a lot of them fall between like 9 and 22. I think I've got like 9 of them in there. So, um, Mike, thank you, sir. Very well done. Excellent deal. Please go check out Mike. Uh, again, he's, he's he's one of those guys I, I can tell just, you know, kind of in dealing with him a little bit that he, he's, don't get scared off by the high OBO uh, on his stuff, uh, I'm sh he's like me where he'll, I'm sure he'll understand fair market. I, I I told him what I had paid for these in the past, and he, he came down to a reasonable number. Um, he's got over 200 cards on eBay um, right now. He's got uh, a number of patches from this set specifically, including like the the quads and the triples. He's got some Walking Dead stuff up right now as well. I know there's a lot of people who are fans of that. It looks like he's basically doing a set break on this 08 Heroes. So if if you've got a, a team or player that you know has a patch in 08 Heroes, uh, definitely hit him up. Some you know there's a nice David Price card in here, a uh, nice patch auto looks like direct from Tops. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff from that set, and I just I didn't even notice there's a Justin Morneau in there. This is a three color patch, so Micah heads up on that. Um, some of the uh, the 2014 museum collection it looks like he's got the DiMaggio from the Heroes set, so uh, very nice stuff uh, all around. Um, nice Michael Waka on card. Uh, just just I mean a great a, again. It looks like he's breaking up a set or an attempt at a set or something like that. But it's a uh, just an amazing array of cards that he has from that 08 Heroes set. So definitely uh, hit him up with that. 
And uh, finally, from whoop, from the forums, let's see. Oh, no, wait, we got one before the forums. My bad. My bad. I did not put a little, uh, like I usually do, I'll put a little marker to remind me who did what here, and I thought what was on top of the padded mailer was it, but I was wrong. Um, this is Angel's Hero from eBay. Uh, he had a couple of these, these last two cards that I'm going to show up, and he, I messaged him about it. We worked out a deal through eBay, and then he threw in a bunch of extras. Um, right off the bat was an Austin Collie uh, base card for the Colts PC, so that was a, a nice find. Then we got uh, just some random base, uh, Greg Jennings, uh, Matt Schaub, Brandon Lloyd, Shane Vereen, uh, Mercedes Lewis, Daniel Thomas, Desmond Briscoe, so some M NFL base, and then he's got some UFC base in here, which I, I don't know if I mentioned to him that I collect UFC or what happened, but um, Phil Davis base. There's a Mark Coleman uh, insert uh, and a Randy Couture insert. Uh, there's a John Jones for the PC. And a nice uh, Carlos Condit out of, uh, what was it, 188? 188. So, add that to the stack of Condit stuff over the side. And the actual cards we did the deal for, uh, both from uh, 2005. Uh, upper Deck Ultimate Collection here, uh, both out of 20. There's 10 of 20 and 9 of 20. The 10 of 20 is the Ultimate Veteran Materials Autographs. So the horizontal orientation. And then the vertical orientation, 9 of 20. Uh, this is the uh, Ultimate Hurlers. So there we are. It very, very reasonable. Got to a nice price. Uh, ended the listing early. No complaints whatsoever. All right, and finally from the forums, uh, not seeing a lot of activity on combat cardboard lately. Kind of a little bit disappointed by that, but uh, I'm, pr I'm, I'm still kind of working some things out as far as if I'm going to do a, uh, a round of MMA um, packs at some point. But uh, this gets me uh, a lot closer. So this is uh, AJ Liendo 41. So this is, uh, this is Alex. It's AJ Liendo 41. Um, he's got some nice stuff. He, he seems like he updates his bucket a lot. So we worked out a deal for the following three cards. Um, the first two are going to be available for sale. I'd kinda, again, I kind of earmarked them for these packs. Uh, it's a final, a final couple of things to throw in there. But uh, well, if, you, if anybody's interested in them outright, let me know. Uh, first is a uh, BJ Penn uh, Ultimate Knockouts par Red Parallel uh, 5 of 8. And I don't think this recent loss to Frankie Edgar tarnishes his his record at all. I mean, he's he's a legend. He he accomplished some things that nobody else has ever accomplished. So uh, he's you know he he is what he is, and you you respect him for coming you know, at least trying to come back at age 35. Um, and then also uh, Junior Dos Santos, one of eight, red parallel. And then the card that uh, I'm keeping for the MMA PC, I was surprised they didn't have his autograph already, 53 out of 95, uh, Memoto of Mauricio Shogun Hua. Not to be confused with Hua. It's a completely different thing. So, Alex, appreciate it, bud. Well done. Uh, provided tracking, uh, easy to negotiate with, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, check out everyone, links in the description box, uh, Alex, Mike, et al. And uh, let me know what you guys think about the look with the new glasses. So, uh, always like getting your feedback on that. Hope everybody is well. And please, please, please go join Den 1013's wrestling contest. Uh, I am a uh, recovering wrestling fan, if you'll call it, but... Uh, I would have a couple of ideas of what to do if I won either prize, 
but uh, definitely if you are yourself a wrestling fan, I would rather have a uh, you know a, a true uh, big hardcore wrestling fan win uh, these prizes. But then again, I've got other ideas. As I said, if anybody uh, if I did end up winning anything, so all right, YouTube, peace.